So, the first problem, there are a lot of problems with it. As soon as it's into internal dialogue, talk to yourself, talk to the audience, talk to yourself, talk to the audience, okay? This, for me, is, and the other problems that it creates, because it's not normal memory for us. That's not the way we recall. Now, let's look at the other way. I'm going to do this for that, which is picture sounds and feelings. You'll see people's eyes go up and see pictures. Their eyes will go toward their ears when they're hearing sounds. And they'll look and talk to themselves real quick and have feelings about it. And you'll watch them. And you know somebody is seeing pictures because they will point at them. They'll go, you know, yeah, you know, I was uh, down, went down to the store down here, and there was a, like a tree, and I turned right. They're touching that. Or they'll, they'll say, my brother Bob. And they'll go, yeah, my brother Bob. And they'll point at their brother Bob, you know, because they see a picture of it. They might not even be aware of it, but you know that they are because they're pointing and interacting with it, okay? So, that's the difference, is, is that you're still going to memorize the words after a fashion, but it, it's going to be because you see a picture, okay? It, it, you're going to memorize, you're going you're gonna, to, and here's the rule, for everything you say, have a picture that prompts you to say that, and that's what I'm after, is when I say picture sounds and feelings, uh, and then you can look at pictures and talk to the audience, and look at pictures and talk to the audience, see them running in your head and talk to the audience, put it into internal dialogue, memorize words, eyes go down, you disappear, and, and you're more concerned with saying the words correctly. And I gotta tell you, it's not particularly interesting or funny to watch a comedian Remember correctly. <laughs> Nobody's sitting out there going, hey, hey, he said a when instead of a because. They don't care. They want to have a good time with you. They want to have a good time. They want to disappear. They want to stop having aches and pains. And they, they want to stop having relationships and bad bosses and worrying about their car. And, you know, whether, you know, somebody's beating up their kid who's a babysitter. Who, who, you know, whatever <laughs> the stuff that's in their head. They want to disappear, and when you see it, and you hear it, and you feel it, and you inhabit the sensory world of your material, I don't know how this happens. But the audience enters your comedy world. They then see it. They then hear it. They then feel it. They disappear. Watch Richard Pryor, and you go places. You know, Ellen DeGeneres, you go places with them, okay? Uh... But the people who tell jokes only just tell jokes and put them in an internal dialogue, you never, ever stop being aware that you're watching a comic on a stage tell you jokes. Because that's all they're doing. They're trying to remember the jokes and say the jokes. Remember the jokes and say the jokes. And there's rarely much relationship, which is the most important thing. And with picture, sounds, and feelings, it's flexible. It's flat. Have you ever told a story over and over again? You know what I mean? Your friends, your work, or whatever it is, you've gotten wrecked or something. And you tell that story. Did you memorize the words? No. No, no you didn't. <laughs> Here's what's interesting how flexible it is in pictures, sounds, and feelings. If everybody was laughing really, really hard, maybe because of alcohol or pot, right? <laughs> Did you add more jokes to that story? Yeah. And if they aren't laughing, can you cut that fucker short and get out of it quick? <laughs> Do you follow the flag? No, no, no. Internal dialogue, A through Z, period. You interrupt any of those things, you go blank. So, when you can see, everything you see is a picture attached to it. You're still remembering what to say while you look at that picture. Then it sets you free. Okay, then it puts your attention on the audience. So then, the most important thing can really be the relationship with the audience. Because as I'm always saying to you, if you're present and you play, you win. Yeah.